Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about how fatty acids and glycerol combine together to form the structure of the lipid. So, the learning objectives will be to explain the formation of lipids with the help of uni uniting the glycerol and the fatty acid. Now, structure of the lipid. So, this is how a lipid molecule looks like. We know that it is made up of the building blocks are glycerol and fatty acids. So how the glycerol interacts with the fatty acids and forms a molecule of lipid we will see. So this is how a structure of lipid looks like. We have a hydrophilic glycerol head and hydrophobic fatty acid tails. So this part of a, fatty, of a lipid molecule is hydrophilic that is it gets attracted to water. And this part is hydrophobic. But we said that the lipid is insoluble in water, which means it is more of hydrophobic and less of hydrophilic. Why? The reason being the length of the hydrocarbon chain in the fatty acid molecule. As the length increases and the unsaturation increases, the solubility keeps on decreasing. That is the reason the membrane also is made up of this kind of lipid structure is insoluble in water. And that is the reason I showed you that the oil when we dissolve in water it does not get dissolved the reason be the fatty acid side chains so this is a glycerol backbone and this is how the three fatty acids combine together so let us see how formation occurs so this is a glycerol molecule it has three hydroxyl groups so the chemical bond which is formed between the hydroxyl group and the carboxyl group of the fatty acid is known as ester bond. So the bond is ester bond. Three hydroxyls of glycerol unite with three carboxyls of three fatty acids to form one lipid molecule. And again, it is a condensation reaction, the dehydration synthesis. So three molecules of water, HOH, HOH and HOH. Three molecules of water are removed and what we get is a triglyceride which has what bond? The ester bond, COO ester bond. So a fat molecule or a lipid molecule shows the properties of an ester because of the presence of ester bond, right? And that is the reason the lipids are also called esters of glycerol or triglycerides. Now again we said that the fatty acids are of two types unsaturated and saturated fatty acids. Similarly, the fats that these fatty acids form, they are again of two types, saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Now, saturated fats, just like saturated fatty acids, they are linear molecules and because of the linearity, they are able to pack on top of each other. So, they are solid at room temperature and they have a higher melting point. See, the saturated fats, solid, butter and we have a single linear chain of fatty acids and that is the reason they can pack on top of each other. Unsaturated fatty acids on the other hand because of the presence of double bond show a kink or they have angles in them and that is the reason they are not able to pack tightly and they are liquid at room temperature just like oils. See the double bond in the chain and that is the reason an angle is formed. So now tell me what is here saturated or unsaturated? Now, to summarize, we can say that the lipids are esters of glycerol, so they are also called triglycerides. The three hydroxyl group of glycerol combines with three carboxyl group of three fatty acids via dehydration synthesis by removal of three water molecule to form one molecule of fat or a triglyceride. The structure consists of a hydrophilic glycerol head and a hydrophobic fatty acid chain. And fats can be saturated that is solid fats or linear fats and unsaturated that is kinked or angled fats. So this was all about how a lipid molecule is formed. Now let us see different types of lipids in next video. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.